Hey everyone, you're watching It's Lit with Brit. This Friday, September 20th is National Concussion Awareness Day, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to have a little bit more serious of a discussion about this incredibly serious yet incredibly scary injury that is most commonly seen among athletes. Now, I feel like if we discuss what some of the side effects and symptoms are, we can more easily recognize when someone has had a concussion or is suffering from a concussion, and we can also prevent the long-term side effects of concussions and hopefully reduce the number of concussions among youth athletes. Now, overall, about 300,000 athletes each year in the United States suffer from concussions. Now, among high schoolers, about 15% of high schoolers across the nation suffer from at least one concussion a year. To me, that is absolutely crazy, but you know what? Concussions don't discriminate based on the sport. A female soccer player is actually more likely to suffer from a concussion than a male football player. But I think that if we know the signs and symptoms of when someone's suffering from a concussion, it can help ensure that we are making sure that they stay rested and they stay uh, sidelined until they are clear, ready to go, and their brain is all the way healed. Now, about 25% of uh, concussions don't even get diagnosed by anybody in the medical field. They don't get examined. Nothing because I think that the kids don't know they're having a concussion, especially, or an adult maybe is trying to uh, convince themselves they don't have a concussion, but we need to know the signs and symptoms. Now, some of the signs and symptoms include headaches, confusion, fogginess, uh, not knowing how the injury just happened, dizziness, or when you see stars, nausea, vomiting, slurred speech, and in more serious cases, sometimes you may lose consciousness. Now, with those more serious concussions, you're also more likely to have trouble remembering things, a hard time concentrating, increased irritability, and other personality changes. Now, it also can cause sensitivity to light or sound, trouble sleeping, and depression. So some of the long-term side effects we've seen in boxers when you get knocked out, and a lot of times it happens when you get knocked out cold, is Parkinson's. We're also seeing in NFL players an increase in CTE um, for players who have had multiple concussions. But I think that by addressing this and being aware of what some of these signs and symptoms are, we can make sure we are getting them checked, make sure that uh, students are educating other people so they are keeping them safe and we can reduce the overall number of concussions. Thank you so much for watching It's Lit with Brit. Have a safe day.